Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, just did battery maintenance. It was long past due. Last time I did battery maintenance was 2022 on December 23rd. I just showed you that in a recent video. Well now, up there, I got some new lines started, 2023. April 13th, Thursday. So yeah, it took three, four gallons of distilled water. I went way too long. The, co the plates were still covered, so I was still safe from damaging the batteries, but uh, that was they were probably getting way hot with the water that low. So I noticed it inside the cabin. I've got a meter in there and I noticed that the uh, the voltage wasn't getting up to where it normally does in the mornings and uh, afternoons. And I said, well, I better get out there and get that done. And I was surprised when I came out and looked at uh, the um, the dates I marked last time I did service and realized it was four months ago now that's a that's a long time to wait I usually like to not go more than two months with a uh, battery maintenance so anyway I also cleaned the dust off of my um, inverter here and people ask me about the inverter I use and this is it my Ames power now the one thing that I do want to mention about this is I really do like the um, 4,000 watt and this is a 3,000 watt if I'm not mistaken um, anyway there's the numbers on it oh no this is a 4,000 watt right there okay yeah so this is a 4,000 watt so that's that's the one I I wanted in the first place and I'm glad I got it because boy this thing really makes a difference. And uh I'll be running the air conditioning pretty soon here and during the day when this is on float with uh 137 uh, or when it jumps up to 144 and does a boost on my batteries I can run the air conditioning all day long with it never dropping below 13.7. And this one, the, the Rover always is like uh, 0.1 higher than the Classic, but it still does a good job. Of course, it's a lot cheaper than the Classic, but I swear by the Classics. Uh, anybody that knows me, anybody that's talked to me uh, for a while uh, knows that I will not trade my Classic for anything. That's uh, Classic and Ames Power. Those are those are two of the number one items for your solar system. You really want to have those. Uh, this is a uh, dump load. It's an old uh, dump load, mechanical dump load with a PWM solar contro controller. But it's not just a regular solar controller. This has been modified to work only with um, wind power. So uh, there's place here to connect solar in, but uh, you don't connect solar to this one. This, this is just for um, dump load only for the wind turbine. And uh, that company from China that sent me the replacement gauge, I got to get the numbers to finally come up on it after two or three tries, but they're not right. They're definitely not correct. So it's just... Uh, the white watts peak isn't holding and the amps peak aren't holding. None of that stuff is on here uh, is um, correct for what is going. Because I can take my um, voltmeter or my multimeter and stick it on there. And I can get different readings that are, than what are going through that gauge. But there's nothing I can do about it with uh, for right now. So I don't want to go directly... Without using that, I don't want to go directly into the batteries. So I want to be able to see what's going on with the uh, the numbers. So I will be um, ordering an, another one from another company. And uh, 
get that changed out. And I'll never do business with those Chinese companies again. It's all got to come uh, USA made. Uh, I think Thermodyne uh, also, this is only a 200 amp. I want to up that to a 300 amp because uh, I'm really thinking about changing my uh, my PMA, my turbine, out to a max core. So I've got the standard core on there right now, and I think I want to go to a max core. So all this wind won't go to waste. I'll be getting better input on it. So that's what I wanted to uh, do today, uh, or show you today. And uh, the other day I was uh, chatting with Tony and Leanne from doing redneck things off grid. And uh, he was having problems with his solar. Uh, excuse the wind. It was 40 mile an hour winds all last night. And uh, they've been close to 30 all day today. And uh, anyway, I was telling them how I hooked up these big 305 watt panels. And I've got this set up in three strings. So it's two, no, I'm sorry, two strings, three panels each. And that's why when you were looking at the voltage in there, you were seeing the uh, voltage over 100 volts going in uh, because the, each panel here is uh, open circuit voltage, it's, I think is uh, 34. So three times 34, uh, what, 102. Uh, you were seeing something like that on the uh, gauge in there. So that's what I did. All right, I wanted to show you, I was down here earlier this morning, and it's only been a day since I've been in here. But boy, was I surprised when I walked in here today. Okay, why was I surprised? Well, look at this. Blossoms. 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 More getting ready to open. Blossoms, 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 blossoms. There's a lot of blossoms on this pear tree. Blossoms, blossoms. Yeah, wind. So yeah, this thing is really taken off. And look at this. Here's uh, the, the graft I did for the Fuji apple. And it's got some blossoms on there ready to open. And some on there ready to open. Some down there ready to open. Some down there ready to open. Some here ready to open. Wow. And then this one is the Gala Apple from Sharon's tree. And I call it the Sharon Apple. And look at that. I got blossoms on that too. This thing is going crazy this year. I don't think this tree can support that much fruit. So I may end up having to um, let a couple of them set and then pop off the rest, get rid of them. Because uh, there's not much of a tree there. And it's got all of those um, uh, quince on there. The quince blossoms here. One, two, three. There's dozens, dozens of quince blossoms on here getting ready to open up. Uh, I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, the last thing I want to show you over here before I call this one a day is uh, the little graft I did earlier this year back in February. Look at that. It's got blossoms. That's that's from that same Bartlett pear tree. And this is, uh, it's grafted onto my Granny Smith apple branch. So that one is definitely a successful graft, and I, I'll be amazed if that sets a pair this year. That'll be something. The other thing that I did notice was, uh, you see that one dead branch in there? Well, you see the grafting wax down here? I'm cutting it with my finger. It's kind of like a window glaze putty, but it never hardens. Well. I did a graft on this a long, long time ago, and that was the graft. And I thought, I thought it was a failed graft. But if you come around this side and look under here, those branches right there 
one and two, those are coming off of that graft because the graft is down lower down here. So that was a successful graft. So this is a different um, citrus fruit than this is. I forget what I, I what the graft was. Again, laziness, not tagging. I quit doing that. Now I tag everything. My um, also my uh, um, fig or my BVD uh, tree here. Yeah, the BVD fig leaf. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's all sprouting and going. And that one over there. I also grafted, you can see the grafting tape right down there on the main trunk and around the back side, that graft has taken. It's, it's nice and green and going well there. So there's another um, graft I, I totally forgot about. And again, not tagged, so I don't know what it is. But uh, down the line, we'll find out when it starts bearing fruit. No bear joke uh, intended. <laughs> anyway, this tree's doing well. The, the, this apple tree's got lots of green growing on it, doing its thing. And I'm going to get out here and um, get some preliminary work done out here so that I'm ready to go whenever, if I ever get any money to buy the materials I need at Home Depot. And the same with the uh, chicken coop. There's a few things. I, I have some 2 by 4s and that stuff. There's a few things I can do to move things ahead. So all I have to do is throw up some plywood real quick when it comes time. And I'll be ready to go. Yeah, my peas are really growing fast here. And those potatoes over there that were just breaking through the soil. They're really doing well too. I think this apple graft down here has taken too. It looks pretty healthy. Um, I'm a grafting guy here. I like grafting. Those other plants that I don't know what they are, they're getting bigger. Anybody recognize them? My uh, my app won't, uh, won't read them yet because it doesn't have enough uh, mature leaves on it. But uh, let's see. But yeah, look at those potatoes. Uh, my cement potatoes. Got another plant just broke, or another uh, branch just broke through right there. So yeah, one, two, three, four sets of uh, potatoes coming up. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, Bench, uh, French fries in the uh, maiden form. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this off and uh, get in out of the wind. And uh, I might even have myself a couple of cold beers tonight. I'm feeling good and uh, no, no gout pains or anything like that. And I could really enjoy a beer or two. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Don't forget your thumbs ups down there. Don't forget, still, all through 2023, absolutely free to subscribe. This is G-Bear, signing off.